raw materials, work in progress, and finished goods are the main types of inventory you will hear about. You've also learned about maintenance, repair, and operations inventory, as well as inventory that is in transit. Interesting enough, how you classify inventory can differ based on where it falls in the supply chain or internal operations of an organization. For example, a company may pull raw materials in the form of trees. Next, they transform the tree into lot lumber that may be used in construction. While the lumber is a finished good for this company, it is a raw material for the construction company. Another example might be a wheel. One car facility may use a wheel on a car to complete the end item, and they may use the wheel as finished goods to sell directly to customers. As you can see, these two examples of inventory, from both a supply chain perspective and an internal value stream perspective, have value added to it in the transformation stages. However, inventory is not always transforming, and that is the goal. Eliminate all points where the item is not transforming and minimize any activities where the inventory is waiting or transporting. One of the best ways to minimize these forms of waste as inventory flows through the transformation process is by implementing the strategy known as Lean. Lean is a continuous improvement strategy that a company embarks on to maximize customer value and minimize waste. As you pull waste out of the different value streams in your organization, you will reduce tied up capital, lead times, and the amount of inventory that you must carry. So remember, that you first need to understand the context of your inventory before you classify it. Now, before we go, we would like to give you a little challenge. What examples of inventory flow can you think of? Share your thoughts in the community, comments, or upcoming assignments. We look forward to hearing from each of you, and we'll see you in the next lecture right here on Lean Strategies International, LLC.